Wow. Our prayers are answered. We got a gigolo. That's what happens. Um, simple meals. It needs just half of raw food. So two, does that mean two meat will make one simple meal? I'm not quite sure. Two raw food will make four simple meals. How much food is he carrying at the moment? 82 donkey meat. Okay. Donkeys do have quite a bit of meat. Um, let's just make, let's try making. Can't make pemmican because we have, well, we do have berries. Let's see how much um, pemmican this makes. So let's try to add some pemmican. So if we do that, it's going to take what? One meat and one vegetable. We'll make four pemmican, is that right? If so, we've got what? 24, so that's only a day's worth of food. Yeah, let's instead stop being so wishy-washy. Just make some simple meals. Um, and then once we have those, let's see what we can do. Cannot cook. Is that because this isn't set down? Oh my gosh, a rat self-tamed itself. I did not think about this. We're not allowed to... We're not allowed to... What? What's? What's the ruling on this again? I'm not allowed to raise any animals. Hmm. I guess he can just be self-tamed, like if he wants to hang out. I'm just not allowed to tame him any further. So let's make sure... No, I'm not trying to draft you. I'm just trying to press every button other than the button I want. Um, let's just make sure... The rat must be murdered. I'm, Xena, I'm kind of wondering if that is the case. Like, I'm not allowed to tame any of them. Does that mean if they tamed themselves, they've just kind of voluntarily decided they should die? <sighs> yeah, like, I think maybe so. Is that rat going to attack me back? This is a, this is a big question. Is that, is that rat... We're going to make sure he's going to be slaughtered at some point. Right now, i got to figure out how to make this into a meal. And if I can't, what was the point of any of this? Oh, maybe they don't attack if they're tamed? That's an interesting idea, yeah. Can I make pet? Why can't I make the simple meal? Just one, just one simple meal, Jan. Just, just one little, little thing. Can you do that for me? Oh, you're making it out of berries. It's not really what I wanted. Can you not make it out of donkey meat? Is it because I don't have enough meat? How much, you know, how much meat does it take to make a simple meal? Um, let's change this into, whenever we've got it, let's go for it.
He's just going for those berries. And it takes 10 berries every time. That is kind of... Okay, wait, he's grabbing some berries and he's grabbing some meat. He took six donkey meat. All right. I'm sorry, it's gotta be slaughtered. Oh gosh. It's done. So how much, is, oh, okay, so it takes 10 meat to make one meal. Fair enough. This place is gonna be gross in there. And we gotta get that inside as soon as possible. I think I kind of want I kind of want food over here too. Or simple meals would be nice. Until we have like a legitimate set up spot, I would like to put meals in here. So food, meals, let's just say all meals. You know, wishful thinking, but all meals. And let's go ahead and take meals off of here. I understand there are solar flares, but I think you're really overestimating the sophistication of my colony right now. So I'm not quite sure why these meals aren't being hauled. Meals include simple meals. Like they have a place to go. Let's make this um, preferred priority. Hmm. Now I'm not trying to all this. Does it not like this being in here for some reason? I'm not quite sure. Can I get him to haul this knife, which I would like to do. Okay, so he's hauling that in a spot that I like. Just so happens that he doesn't like the, um, the area. Okay, I can get him to pick some up. All right, we're just gonna have to build. We're gonna have to build. Oh, we should probably butcher this thing though. Would you please butcher that? We gotta remember to kill this, hunt, this hare too. He's eating simple meals. This is good. Um, let's look at something. Inventory. Yeah, let's pin some of these things. Let's pin medicine. Let's pin wood. Let's pin that. Are we out of pemmican? No, it's just... 
none are in the stockpile. So uh, we might as well install this while we still have it. Let's let's take a look at these sculptures. A torso-sized piece of material sculpted into an artistic form. Very nice. Um, sometimes they have like descriptions on them, which is kind of fun. There's just so much for you to do, Chan. So much for you to do. And the next thing I got to do is undo everything that I did right here because it's not working for some reason. What else did I try to take away? Medicine. Chan, why are you acting like I drafted you for no reason? Probably because I did. Very important. Very important to get those set it, settled. Are you sleeping already? It's 6 o'clock. He's acting like I work him too hard. We really do need that stuff, um, and the reason is, how, how are these meals doing? They spoil in three days. I don't even think he's going to be able to eat these meals long enough, so we really should prioritize making some pemmican, because it spoils in a year. Let's make sure that he's eating meals before, um, before pemmican. I think this is something you can do. I'm definitely not going to banish him because, um, that would kind of end our run here. Mm. Food. That's more of a restriction. Maybe I can't decide what he eats first. That's fine. I think he will eat meals as long as they're around. up right now. Oh, did he use some of his time to just sleep? I think that's what he did. Chan, how you doing? Are you holding up okay? I'm getting a little worried. He's tired as anything. Got no recreation. Comfort is terrible. I need to make a bedroll. gonna have to try to close this thing up um yeah I know he's uncomfortable he's just waiting for a friend you know, that's that's what it is. Waiting to a, for a friend or to die. You know, it's kind of one or the other at this point. But, you know, would you feel better if I, if we built a, like a table? Like maybe just a tiny little table over here with a, with a stool? food there pots I wouldn't mind either 
let's not let's not get it too ahead of ourselves right now. Um, we're okay for the very short time being on food, but we're gonna have to spend days once we get this closed and we get some of this stuff up. All right, priority list. Get this closed. Haul everything to where it's supposed to be. And then wonder if we ever can make a bedroll, because I'm not sure still. And then finally, go on a hunting spree, because we need to stockpile some pemmican, or else every couple days we're going to have to go on a hunting trip, we're going to have to hunt those donkeys, we all know how that went, there's blood everywhere. Here's our donkey. He's already hurt. You know, he might be easy pickings. We should probably go over there. Oh, I love it. I love it. We're organizing. We are organizing. Making some buildings here. Perfect. I'm feeling good about this. Those are famous last words. I really should try to not say I'm feeling good about this. Um, because I just know some random crap is going to be thrown our way. You know, if we're ever cold, we could just go by the steam geyser. Kind of. I wonder if we could have built around the geyser. Is that even possible? Would have been pretty bad for summertime. Maybe we can make a little sauna room, you know? Least of our worries. What are you doing? Oh, you're playing. Pretty, pretty good there. Pretty, pretty nice toss. And we're back. I understand why his tribe picked him to lead them on. I mean, he's working really hard out there. He's maybe the slowest tree cutter I've ever met, but he's working really hard. doesn't seem to be in very good spirits. I'm worried about him. Well, it's a big tree. Okay, fair enough. You know, I'm not the one who has to go out there and chop down. What are these, oak trees? Okay, oak trees are kind of, kind of hefty. I have to give you that. The, oh, we've got no campfire. He always psychs me out when he's going to play this because I always think he's just standing around doing nothing. Okay, I know this seems superfluous, but I feel like if he has a table to eat at, he's going to feel just a lot better about himself. Never mind that this spoils in two days. Spoils in 2.4 years, but it, I don't think it's deteriorating anymore. Okay, so that's a big step forward. This is deteriorating, so we gotta make sure to get that inside. And do I want these to be out here? No, because they will deteriorate. Decisions. There are decisions to make here. 
Could I somehow make this a roofed area? Um, no, it'll still be outdoors. We're going to need some... Um, At least get a torch going up in here. Okay, what is my thought process here? My thought process is I would love to have a knife out here in case I'm being attacked, I'm shooting something, and I want to switch to the knife to be able to defend myself close range. There's so many times that they try to attack close range with a bow, and it's just, it's terrible. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can't just keep it in my back pocket, unfortunately. Uh, at least not in this version of RimWorld. So, yeah. If I drafted you, could I... Yeah, you can't just, like, keep that in a back pocket. As you were. Sorry I drafted you. Um, but it will, it will deteriorate if it's out here. So the question is, do I just keep an eye out on it, or... No. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna put all the weapons in here as well. This is more plank for the long haul, which is what scares me, because... We could be in a bad spot in the short, in in like a very short amount of time. So, um, let us harvest all of this. All that's going to be useful. All right, what did I actually say my plan was? Get this built, haul everything where it needs to be. We're, we're halfway through that, so that's great. After that, we really have to focus in on hunting so we can make pemmican. Once we have enough pemmican, well, the, the world is our oyster. We can, I actually don't know what we do at that point. We'll take it one. One day at a time here. Best laid plans, all that jazz. Oh, I just heard a sound that I don't love. Kind of scared. What, what it does tell me is that, ooh, that's a dead squirrel. How's that dead squirrel doing? Also, what killed it? Maybe we don't go up there. Oh, another dead squirrel. That one's pretty close to us. Was it killed by a horse? Oh, this fox probably, right? I'm not gonna mess with that fox. Up and at him. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ate at a table. Ate at a table, didn't we? How's he doing? Mood is 66. That is... Okay, well, he just ate with a table, so that should go away eventually. He slept on the ground. And his bedroom is awful. Uh, his initial optimism <laughs> is going to run out <laughs> in three days, um, but he's got extremely low expectations. So I hope that's just a lesson to all of us, you know, look at all we can um, overcome with extremely low expectations. That is my takeaway. I think he's doing OK, not really the best. Okay, I understand 
I'm actually going to make you all, all this stuff. That's a lot of stuff he's about to haul. Oh shoot. A pack of manhunting snow hares have entered the, the area. Driven insane by the disease known as Scoria, they will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. <laughs> they won't attack doors unless they see someone go through it. I could hide inside. Uh, they'll leave in one or two days. Okay, well, how many of them are there? Is it two snow hares? It looks like it's two snow hares. And you know what I have to say is the cause of this? We haven't done any sacrifices. I'm supposed to make regular sacrifices, and I have not done any gonna have to do a sacrifice gonna have to sacrifice something hmm. we'll have to think about what uh, we sacrifice we have to survive these snow hairs which is obviously all our fault at the moment so I'm tempted to try to kill them uh, and part of me, but part of me thinks that's a terrible idea. Could we? I mean, they're snow hares. How hard are, how hardy are snow hares? I have, I have no idea. I thought maybe that would give us combat. Melee, armor penetration. I don't think that's very good. Damage per second is one. But what if we get ganged up on, you know? This is such... You know it's not good when one of the hardest decisions already comes on whether or not you should kill... Or take your chances trying to kill a snow hare. I just don't feel... I don't feel confident enough only having one... If I had two people, and if one died, one dies. But we gotta wait this out. We gotta wait out our punishment. And... We're going to have to wait out these snow hairs. So, I'm sorry, but... Jan, we're cleaning. This is what we're doing. We're going to clean. I'm going to draft you. And, um... Maybe I don't need to draft you. We're just... We're going to clean right now. We're going to wait out these snow hairs. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, draft. Okay, we cannot mess this up. Oh my gosh, they saw the door. They saw him go in. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, we have nothing. We're going to have to hide in the corner. <laughs> we're going to have to hide in the corner. And we're going to have to... Deconstruct wall? Hey, that's a good idea. Okay. I like what you're thinking. What if we deconstruct this? No, what are you doing? Why are you trying to deconstruct the wall from the outside? Oh my goodness. Okay. You meant deconstruct this wall, didn't you? And I could move over and then rebuild the wall. Maybe? Okay. I 
I have made some terrible mistakes already. Let's do this, let's do this. We got this. Uh, click to cancel. Deselect. Cancel. Can I deconstruct this one? Can you try doing that? Wait a second, why are they running away? Does this give Chan... You know what? I already made enough mistakes. Let's wait it out. I don't know why they got scared away. I don't know what scared them. How's this wall doing? I, yeah, I, it felt like I did charge at them and they just kind of ran away. Is, does Chan feel, you know, galvanized by this? I would feel better if he had this knife, though. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, they are quick. I don't think he could hit them with the bow. I need to get to that knife and look at the way they're patrolling the area. Like the bloodthirsty snow hares they are. I'm not gonna chance it. I'm playing it safe. We gotta think about the long run here. We are trying to build up the tribe. You know? This is our punishment. We should have been sacrificing stuff and we weren't. I feel like I just have to take responsibility here. Let the manhunting pack run its course. You know, if this fox could get in here and turn the tides, that would be great. Yeah, maybe they do sleep. That's an interesting thought. I'm not sure. Anyways, you know, this is life now. How, how are we doing? We didn't take any hits. You know, we're hungry, we're tired, mood is declining, rat meat is rotted away, we're gonna need to go, we're gonna need to go hunting. How much longer does this 1.9 days and 1.8 days, okay, we have some meals. You're right, he can sleep. It's kind of silly not to at this point. So let's um, undraft. He's not trying to sleep right now. He's trying to click on the door and lock him in. Interesting, is that, is that something you can do? Uh, I could forbid it, right? Maybe, maybe he won't go out. Okay, he's repairing the door. He's eating a meal that's on him. He's sleeping. Okay, that's a great outcome. That's a great outcome. Appreciate the, uh, the shout out, Dread. He's taking care of himself. You know, he's cleaning up a little bit. 
wandering, looking at that sculpture. He's not, he's not unhappy. I know we are low on food, okay? I've got these snow hairs zooming all over the place. This has me wondering if, in general, we should be holding the knife, and then if we're prepared to go hunt, we grab the bow. Like, that might be the way we go. Uh, I do have a little bit of experience. I have played it before. Funnily enough, I only have experience on console. Um, I have not played it on PC, even though I know it's much more uh, customizable and moddable and all that sort of stuff. But I was always keeping my eye out on it. And I'm pretty happy when it did come out to console. only do PC games. I do not blame you. Oh my gosh. We have visitors. We have one guy who is like pretty well stocked up. He's got an auto pistol. I, I mean, he's going to have a rude awakening when these snow hares come to get him. But is this is this the spirits feeling bad for us? Oh, he's got two. There's two of them. We can capture him. I'm going to let this play out as it would. I unfortunately can't do anything aggressive towards them. Based on my playthrough rules. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You love to see it. Free food. Thank you, Carlson. Well, let's, let's revisit this. Let's revisit our rules again. Obviously, they didn't get knocked out. They took care of that handily because they had lots of stuff. But if, if you're wondering what I'm looking at, Dredd, I don't know if you saw this already, but... Here are the playthrough rules. Um, and there's also a backstory to it if you want to see explanation backstory. But here's what we're living with. Or, yeah. Okay, so no technology must always help. Limited contact. You are not allowed to engage in any aggressive behavior towards other factions. I may only trade with them and only for essential items such as medicine or tools. Okay, I think food is also an essential item. So if I can trade with them for some food, I definitely will try. Um, let's, let's make this so he can, he can interact. I'm gonna let him sleep. He's been through a lot. Um, but we will talk to these people. when we're awake. You're right. There is usually a traitor indicator, right? Can I just like... It doesn't look like I can really do anything with them. Yeah, there's no interact. They're just going to be hanging around, I guess. Um, so be it. Let's get back to what we were going to do. Let's go ahead and equip this.
let's um, haul all this stuff. We're going to queue just hauling so much stuff. We're going to hope that those guys are friendly. We'll butcher those hares. We'll hope that their man-eating tendencies don't, you know, carry over and we can eat them all the same. Right now, they're just kind of looking menacingly, these visitors. They're leaving now. That's fair. Oh, right where they came. Back to where they came from. Okay. Okay, let's try to think. Let's try to think about how mechanically we can sacrifice something. Because as you'll see, rule number five must perform regular rituals and sacrifices. I guess rituals is part of that as well, right? Like what, what can I do to appease the spirits? You know, we're trying to live the right way here. Um, this geyser kind of, like, it, it makes me feel like there's something spiritual going on. So I think this is not going to be a sacrifice, but it will be a ritual. Let's build up, let's build up some pillars and maybe a roof around the geyser. And uh, we will sit near the geyser like a sauna in a sauna-esque sort of way, you know, with the, with the steam kind of reflecting down off the roof. And we'll contemplate everything the spirits have given us. And we're going to hope that maybe next time they won't send, um, you know, man-hunting snow hares. Can you roof the geyser? I don't know. I really don't know. And my gut says you probably shouldn't be able to, but I would really love to. So we're going to try it. Um, and if not, I think the spirits will appreciate our attempts at doing so. So let's first build that there maybe that there and let's see if that's possible and Chan we're really gonna have to prioritize this based on you know how life is going right now now is that war gonna leave us alone as far as we as long as we don't attack him relaxing socially. Okay, I, I understand the need to relax socially. Um, and I'm going to let you do that, but then until it goes crazy. Yeah. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. If I'm not mistaken, you can roof stuff. Okay. Amazing. Okay. We have now successfully roofed the geyser, and I'm feeling really good about this. I am feeling really, really good about this. I think because of my our spiritual draw to this geyser. Our first ritual will be to simply spend a day basking 
in the glory of this steam geyser. So that will be tomorrow, and I hope that the spirits will be happy. I really think they will. Um, for now, I don't know why we're prioritizing this instead of maybe uh, grabbing these berry bushes would be really nice. If we could uh, maybe do that. Let's... I do need a butcher table. You're correct. I was kind of waiting for that. Um, but now that I think we have a little bit of extra wood to spare, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, should we take away the butchering spot that we do have right now? Sure. No, I don't mean to copy it. under production, right? Yeah. All right. That's not, that's actually a good idea and I think something that we can do right now. Um yeah, I understand we need more material. Now that makes all this chopping of the wood make sense. When are these meals going away? In 20 hours? I hear, like... That dead squirrel's still just over there. We've got a few meals. How are these doing? Spoils in two days. Spoils in two days. Okay, can we butcher them today okay after you're done relaxing socially crap I forgot I'm gonna have to uh, butcher creature just kind of let's just do that whenever we've got it why did I decide to do a solo start um, I decided I didn't really decide to do a solo start uh I, I'm just going to throw that kind of in the chat there. Um, so backstory, I quit my job not too long ago to pursue writing full time. So I'm building up a writing portfolio and, uh, you can see that at secondsky.com. Um, and recently I've kind of been grappling with with this idea of chat GBT and the AI sort of future and, you know, our writer is going to be obsolete. Have I picked the wrong time to try to do this? The writer's guild is striking. Everything seems to be falling down. Um, that existential crisis aside, I was, I thought this would be a good opportunity to try to use chat GBT. So, and try to get more comfortable with it as a tool. So I plugged in a little uh, thing to ChatGPT, asked it to generate rules for my playthrough. You can see kind of, um, I put a link down so you can see the whole back and forth. But basically, uh, it gave me this backstory where I'm the last surviving member of my tribe and I have to build up the world. Uh, but I have to do it very strictly with a very strict set of rules to appease the spirits. So that is why I'm gonna take a whole day um, to just, you know, perform this ritual here. And that is why I went with one survivor, which has been very limiting, extremely limiting. Not much of a colony sim when you only have one person. But I believe we will get there. We will rebuild our tribe. Uh, someone will want to join us, naturally. Someone's going to want to. Um, it's probably going to get us killed when we have that, like, survivor sort of uh, scenario where we have to help someone out and they're being chased and, or whatever it might be. But anyways, that's a long way of saying that is why I am doing a single person start. Which I don't recommend.
How much? 21 mayor. Uh, eight. Oh my gosh. What do we got? Pack of... This is what happens. See, I don't do my ritual. Now we got back-to-back -back Manhunter packs. Now it's Yorkshire Terriers. Two very vicious-looking Yorkshire Terriers. I think we're going to try to kill them. We're going to try to kill them with a knife. But we're not going to do it right away. I'm going to have him go into his room and sleep the night. They're pretty slow. I might be able to shoot them off. Is that what you're thinking? But man, he's so bad. He's just not a very good shot. That's true. If I am, um, if I have him drafted the whole time, I should be able to kite him away. So let's go ahead and get that bow equipped. And let's, um, let's run out here. It'd be great if you hit one of these shots. There's a terrifying terrier going after us. Okay. Nope. Chan. Why in the world would you try to shoot that guy first? Now we're running for our lives. Oh yeah, we got one. We got one, and it's slower now. Oh, I'm running through mud, aren't I? Okay. Yeah, we wounded one. That's great. Let's try to take a shot. Oh, he missed. Run, run, run. You got this. You got this, Jan. I know this is a long night. We just need to get enough space. Okay, I think... I think we can get a shot off. No, why are you shooting at him? I want you to attack him. Wow, I can already tell Chan that's way off. Ugh, I know you need treatment. When did, when did that donkey die? Dan, you're in a you're in a dangerous position. How bad are we looking at here? 32% bleeding. <sighs> These are no joke. Can't be messing around with terriers. You know, they kill rats and stuff. You gotta hit it. Chan. killing me. Here's what we're going to do. I'm worried about your health. I'm worried about your health. 
You're in no immediate danger. I understand that. We may be able to run into that stockpile and get you that knife. Okay, I think he took the bait. He's going around. Get in that room. Get in that room. Get in that room. Close that door. Close the door. Close the door. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, can we take this? Well, he's already got medicine. Um, I don't know if he can heal himself. I think he needs to... Can he treat himself? Yeah, tend. There we go. Oh, the terrier gave up. Okay. We're holed up in here. We need treatment. He doesn't seem to want to treat himself. Um, I'm wondering if I can get him to prioritize. Self-tend disabled. Why would self-tend be disabled? Have to self ten, bud. Oh, it's auto turned off. I got gotcha. you. We wounded one of them. How are we doing now? We're injured. We got a little bit of pain. You know, we're not. We're not gonna lose, oh yeah, look at these just awful, awful attacks on our torso and our left leg. I, yeah, I do believe I have Doctor as priority one. Um, yeah, those are the two things. It's a good call. I'll check just in case. Yeah, I got, I got those three as priority one. But he does seem to be good. Um, we could try to wait it out. If we could just injure one of, if we could injure the other one. I mean, that one's gonna die in four hours. This guy we can't hit. I mean, we've tried, we've tried. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time here. could get that knife. We still seem to be faster than this terrier. I really want him to be able to sleep though. We're gonna go back out into the unknown here. Could at least try to fix that door before we go. Okay, he's just standing there menacingly, like we said. I kind of lost my my nerve. It was totally like, yeah, we're going to kill him. And then just this ferocious beast knocking on the door. All right, Chan, we got this. Oh, I messed it up already. That was my bad, Chan. You had a shot. You got to take it. You got to hit it. That I can't emphasize how far off that was. I mean, you don't have very much... You don't have... Okay, let's try it again. You did it. You did it. You have done it. 
I know you need treatment. How, how dire is this? How, how dire are we thinking? No immediate danger. Okay. I, I see that you're in some pain. I understand it. But now we have enough that we can, we can get out and we can attack. Oh yeah, one's dead, one's down. Tan, we've got your mojo back. There's optimal range for close and far. Ah, I see what you're saying. I've gotten, I'm making him shoot too close. Oh, the other one's already dead. Chan, get some sleep, man. Get some well-earned sleep. Also, maybe tend to yourself. Unless he doesn't need treatment. Mm, you're bleeding a little bit. Can you treat without using medicine? Wow, that was a very definitive answer. Oh, crap. Oh, you're still injured. Um, oh, he's just going to use it. He's just going to use it. I tried to stop him. I really did. You got this. I mean, everything is treated. Do I need to change this into a medical bed somehow, though? I like how I call it a medical bed. It's really just a spot on the floor. Jan, we've had a rough couple of days and it's on me, you know? It is on me. Like what? That spoils in two days. That spoils soon. That won't spoil. That's going to spoil. That is a full donkey. Like, we're going to take that. We're gonna let him rest till, I don't know, noon or so? How bad are you feeling? Wow, he needs a lot more rest. I think we're going to have to pause that and make pemmican. 
and try to, I mean, if we could have a stockpile, crap, we just lost those two meals. Let's unpause that and make those meals because we need a couple meals. A couple meals to start for sure. I'm more so worried about his rest. If I can get his rest all the way up, even though he's not fully healed, we're going to start running around a little bit here. Okay, we got a mad squirrel. Let's keep an eye out on it, but we simply cannot get mixed up with that mad squirrel. For the time being, I don't want him running out there. So angry. Is he still mad, or is he kind of simmered down? Okay, we slept a whole day. That's what happens when you've taken the brunt of a Yorkshire Terrier attack. I mean, man, you've got to be hungry, right? Yeah, he's pretty hungry. Let's, um, I mean, you gotta eat some, you gotta eat some pemmican. fully heal healed. I don't want you to do that. I would love for you to haul this donkey because that's a lot of meat. Let's butcher. I'm okay with you cutting some of those. Are you sleeping out? Oh, because I see. If you want to sleep, please go. Please sleep over here. if you're not going to sleep. Okay, this is on me. Instead of trying to force this, let's actually change his priority here. Um, we need to get cooking up and we need to get I'll kind of hunt as we go what is butchering under C 
slaughter animals. Butcher animals, okay. Yeah, so that should be two. That should be higher on the list. I'll let you cut that down. Hmm, looks like the fox ate that squirrel. Okay, now we have some meals. Cook, yeah, it was cook. Sorry, I didn't see your message there. Um, thankfully, it was cook. Okay, how many meals are we working with? What and why don't we stack these? Because they have different ingredients. Is that why? Just wondering why that wouldn't be able to stack. Hey, that's a good point. Uh, that's a good point, Dread. I thought I had made it pinned. Is that not how you show it? Um, toggle inventory. There we go. There we go. Um, good call out. I would also like to pin the pemmican. If we have five meals, they spoil in three days. Let's, um, we're never gonna have a fridge, right? So let's go ahead and change the bill to pause that for now and try to make some pemmican. This is beautiful. We're actually automating what we want him to do. I don't know why he's, oh yeah. Okay, I don't think this is the most efficient way to go about this. Okay, there's no way that's the most efficient way to go about it. Tomorrow I'm gonna, I'll probably help him get some stuff together. We're already at 102. This is pouring right now. We're in the summer months. Winter is coming. Food won't grow in the winter. We need enough food to survive. And we'll need some parkas. Oh no, guys. Like, how do you even make parkas? At, at what point are we able to do so? Um, we need to look at our production. You're right, I feel like I should be able to make something. Isn't there a specific? Is there a tailoring table that I have available? I can make an art bench and I can make a crafting spot. Hmm. Doesn't look like I have a tailoring table. 
I would like to make this sort of crafting spot because maybe, oops. Maybe I can do something with that. Um, otherwise, I think I need to be, to research maybe complex clothing. Complicated garments like pants. I think this is where I draw the line. These two things I'm gonna allow to be able to make. Um, I'm not gonna be making those. I think that's too complex. So what that tells me is I need to set aside to research. Top two unlocks are stone cutting and beer brewing. So, I mean, stone cutting would be nice. We could actually make stone stuff, but I don't think that is a priority at the moment. Um, I think priority would be complex clothing. If, if I can make tailoring things, it makes me think I can make a tailor bench. So, I think I need to research this. Oh, I can show it. Yeah, look, a hand tailor bench. Well, shoot. I need to research, like, now. Um, because I will not survive. I need to research that tailoring and I need, yeah, research tailoring, um, work on stockpiling pemmican as much as possible, maybe try to throw a passive cooler in there and see if that helps with the food. I don't think it will, um, but we're going to try. And then that's kind of it. But before we end this session, because I think I'm just about at time. Yep. Before we end, we're going to appease. We're going to appease the gods. We're going to take our day. I know it sounds like a waste, but this is what we have to do for our playthrough. Tomorrow, all day, we're sitting by the steam geyser. And we're going to soak in. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be spiritual. It's it's going to make sure we have no more manhunting terriers or hares or anything of the sort. You can feel it. I know it's going to happen. Now, are we wasting valuable time when we just decided that we're ill-prepared for the oncoming winter? Yes. But gosh dang, Chan, you're going to sit here. You're going to contemplate you're going to contemplate your life. Yeah, get closer. Get closer. Really breathe that in. Breathe in. Just think about the tribe of the past. Your first 30 years of life. You know, the next 30 years of life and beyond. The beautiful tribe you're going to build. Or die, too, very soon. Who knows what? Hey, excuse me. Oh my gosh. You'd think they'd learn. We're back. We're back. We're back. Breathe it in. I think in the future, drugs will probably be involved, but at this point, we don't have any drugs, so. Oh, you're at a minor break risk. Um. I don't think this is going well for you. Oh, that's because you haven't eaten. Okay. Yeah, I understand that would be... That would be... You know, there's... There's food in an all-day sort of affair like this. So I will let you... I will let you eat. But only to eat. Okay, okay. Stop trying to... Stop trying to get away from here. We're all having a good time. No one's gonna break. No one's gonna break. We've almost done it. Six to six is all I'm saying. Oh shoot, trance. This is it, this is what I'm talking about. You appease the gods, 
immediately. Our prayers are answered. We got a gigolo. That's what happens. You see, you spend all day, you soak up the steam geyser, the spirit steam geyser, and you get a gigolo named Nugfur, who is badly wounded, and we can rescue him, um, and hope he joins freely, which is what we have to do, because we are a peaceful nation, based on our playthrough. So, wow, that is amazing. That is amazing. Rarely do you ever see your prayers answered so quickly. Um... We're gonna help this gigolo out. He's aged 483. Biologically, he only feels 28 though. Let's look at him a little bit. He, he loves pizza. Can't doctor anything. Uh, great cook. Okay, listen, at, at this point, anyone's gonna be helpful. We're gonna try to rescue him tomorrow. Well, actually now. I think the gods have told us we did what was right. We took the day. We almost fasted to death. We um, we got Nugfur. Our prayers have been answered. This is a beautiful place to end. We will pick that back up tomorrow.